We do know that uh, the uh, power holding company are supposed to hand over to their new owners. So the federal government did say, while the controversy continues over who has been paid, who has not, when and how. Well, Mr. Owen now joins us this morning. He's a member of the Senior Staff Association of PHCN. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Well, the last time we checked, well, the federal government did say that, um, in fact, it was also widely reported that payment is being made. That, as a matter of fact, uh, they claim that 40,093 out of the 47,913 identified PSCN workers had been fully paid their entitlements. And they say the money spent so far on the disengagement of the members of staff at PSCN stood at $294.4 billion out of $214.2 billion, which was for severance benefits, while pension was 80.2 billion naira. Do you have a grasp with that? Thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, the channel's management for granting us the audience to come in here. Um, actually, uh, our concern specifically is on uh, the issue of uh, disengagement of uh, 271 uh, workers sacked to, uh, during the tail end of Abacha's regime. Uh, with what you have just said now, I may not really be competent to confirm the figures that we have a worker representative in the current power holding company of Nigeria who will be vaxxed with that information. So wait, these ones that you say were disengaged or were they sacked? Yes, they were sacked without benefit and uh, um, they are recourse to the rules and regulations governing the employment of the state workers. That was as far back as 1998? No, 19, towards the tail end of Abacha regime, 1994. So this thing had been, had been a struggle in order to correct this injustice you go from one regime to the other. You know. 1994? Yes. So what has that got to do with this government? Management is a continuum. Since that issue has not been resolved, so we keep on pushing it from one regime to the other. So now when we're in a democratic setting, so we now ask the government to look into it. So that's what we are doing. Uh, we're trying to see avenues where we can channel this. But this is not the first democratic government that there's been ever since then. Yes. What has happened ever since? When it's happened, um, they say the courts, uh, we can channel our case to the courts so that where the issue will be addressed. So we went to court actually. And that thing took about 13 years. We secured victory at the Federal High Court, um, Lagos. Victory at the Federal Court of Appeal, Lagos. Victory at Mina High Court. Victory at Federal Court of Appeal, Abuja. Victory at Federal High Court, um, Kaduna. So all these areas, all the judges are saying the same thing that this disengagement was not done through the normal process, that it is not long for it. If that were the case, there's a union of PSA and workers, yes. and NEPA at the time. Yes. What, have, what have they done about it? That was the problem we had. You see, as at the time NEPA came into being in 1972, 1st of April, bringing Niger Dam and the ECN together, there was a bandit, there was an objective, there was a mission to generate transmit, distribute, power supply in an efficient manner and economic rate. But today, <coughs> the performance of that body has been this man. And I'm talking is, about your association. Yeah, the NEPA then. So when all this while we have been there, uh, the union has not done fairly well when it has to do with protecting the interest of the workers. 
The primary responsibility of a union leader or a worker representative is to ensure, one, the survival and growth of the organization, and to look at members' interests. But then, there are a lot of problems. The two in-house registered union we had then, they were at loggerhead with each other. One trying to claim credit, litigations here and there. You know, I remember an instance when the case of 11 jailed never men. So the problem had been there to the detriment of the workers. What about when last did any of those members who you say are sacked have a meeting with the current union of electricity workers? It's been regular. When was the last time? We have been, it is continuous something. Last week, two weeks, you know what I mean? We keep on updating them. Concerning this matter? Yes. What have they said? In fact, they have done well. I, I must give them kudos. Uh, and the person like uh, George Ero and Bill Opera, they have done. If the kind of union we have now is the one we had then, there won't have any problem. What have they done specifically? Actually, so you can see the smiles on the faces of the workers today. Even though they have not reached the destiny. People are going, the current investors is coming today to take over this one. But to a reasonable end, at least somebody can show up and comments on them.